What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason, and you're watching Backtrack Cinema, and welcome to my 31 Days of Horror. And today's topic is zombies. What is my favorite zombie film? Well, if you guys know me for a while, you know it's Return of the Living Dead. Have you ever seen that movie, Night of the Living Dead? <laughs> Love this movie. Great characters. This is a kind of movie that knows what it is. It's fun as hell. It's got attitude. The punk rock vibe throughout, throughout it. The aesthetic of the graveyard. I love graveyard cemeteries and movies. And, you know, Tar Man being so iconic. Just an absolute cult classic this movie. This could be a lot of fun to talk about. The horror mixed with the humor just works so well, man, in this movie. Just absolutely love Return of the Living Dead. Now, I watched this one. I came to this one early. I was just a young kid when I watched this one, and it terrified me. The cadaver in the warehouse where Freddy and Frank are working. The one in the bag and everything that gets out. You know, the real pale motherfucker. Oh, Frank! Ah! 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 That thing terrified me. The way it was, it was running around like, Bring! They saw on its head off and they saw it in the pieces. That just terrified me when I was a kid. It scared me. I did the old blanket over the eyes thing. Um, so I, I watched this probably way younger than I should have been watching this kind of stuff. But hey, turned me into a freaking demented horror fan, I guess. But it's just a ton of fun, this movie. You know what I mean? You can invite people over and have some pizza, drink some beer, and have a ton of fun watching Return to the Living Dead. We got this character of Freddy who's been shown around by Frank, his new boss. They accidentally bring zombies back because good old Frank hits the tank. It starts leaking, goes into the air. It rains all over the acid rain, rains all over the graveyard. Then they're all coming up out of the freaking graves and shit like that. Things go really bad for Freddy and Frank. And then they got to call the boss, Bert, in the clean up all this mess all the kids who just want to party they're partying in the graveyard they're waiting for freddy to get off work and they're all different men you got all walks of life here you got the nerdy guy and you got the slutty girl and you got the badass and you got the the blue collar guy and freddy and you got the sweet princess all these kind of like caricatures but and usually sometimes that that gets boring fast but it all works here with this and they mix it into this punk rock vibe you know what i mean I absolutely love Trash in this. Uh, like, Trash is my favorite character in Return of the Living Dead. She's absolutely hilarious. She just wants to party. Rubbing and dancing all over the freaking graveyard, the tombstone, doing the, the iconic dance by Lenita Quigley. And maybe, and you know, that's maybe a lesson. Maybe we shouldn't be disrespecting the dead like this. Which brings me to suicide. This guy is so angry and pissed off at the fucking world that it's hilarious the way the actor brings it out. I mean, he's got trash hanging off him and he goes, you guys just don't freaking get me, man. You think this is a freaking costume? This is a way of life. And then she's like, this, you know, <laughs> I'm laughing already. And he throws her off him and he's like, what the hell is the matter with you? Have some respect for the fucking death. Hey, what's wrong with you, man? Show some fucking respect for the dead, will ya? And characters like Spider are awesome when he when he see, when he sees Freddy foaming at the mouth, he's like, and this fucking stuff was and then he's just freaking out and the guy fucking slaps him. And his face all fucked up in with Freddy Dog. I love this movie. This movie is absolutely hilarious, right? And the practical effects too, I think are great man i think the zombies running this could this be the first time we had zombies just freaking full charge running i do not know maybe but i love that i love zombies who are just full tilt running they're all like brains 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 and they explore like it hurts to be dead apparently and when they're all coming out of the grave i think that's a great scene man when you hear them moaning the rain is just coming down it's muddy this is where you know trash gets it you know what i mean she slips in the rain and they all come out of the freaking ground and they they pull her under and start feasting on her and everything like that it just man just love cemeteries and horror i love graveyard seeds and horror i love the aesthetic of it the creepiness of it it's why i like the beginning of jason lives um that little segment in creep show where the guy comes out of the ground you know the old man <laughs> great score too how it opens up after Frank um, hits the barrel and it, the, the tank starts leaking. That music going on and a lot of the songs are freaking awesome in this. Like you want to party and everything where they're all coming to the grave. It's party time. 
It's a great score, man. I like the music or the song that's going on when Frank is Frank and Freddie end up turning into zombies slowly, right? I, I love this. He decides to, you know, he doesn't want to turn into one, so he puts himself in the incinerator, the furnace, whatever you call it. And the music going along with that, he, he takes his wedding ring, kisses his wedding ring, puts it on there, you know what I mean, and tortures himself. I thought that was a great moment, man. And just the song behind it, I thought it was really awesome. And the thing about the tone of this film, you got to understand it. It knows what it is. It's diving into comedy and horror, but so fluently. You know, nothing feels off or, or you know, clunky or anything. And a lot of people may come to this movie and go, man, the acting was bad. Or, man, they overacted so much. That's the point. They knew how to play the acting perfectly. It's a little over the top. The whole fucking movie is. You know what I mean? Especially with James Karen, who plays Frank. Love this character. He knew exactly how to play that character. All right. I don't think I can do this, Bert. Well, you damn well better. You got us into this. Just brilliant performance, I think, by him. Just absolutely love him. I mean, this movie is a cult classic, and it has his fucking fans, man. You start dissing Return of the Living Dead, you better have your guard up, man, because... People will come at you, man, but this movie is just awesome. You have one iconic zombie in Tarman. Tarman kind of has like, he's got like no bones or everything. So he, he walks like this. He walks slow and everything. And he's slimy and he's fucking gross. And he's like, more brains like that. He almost looks like he's fucking smiling. <laughs> he sees people. He's like, brains. <laughs> I say that all the time. I'll go to my kids. I'll go, more brains. <laughs> Oh, man, I could be messed up. <laughs> but Tar Man's great. He really is an iconic zombie. Like, there's not many of those uh, iconic zombies that, wow, I remember that zombie. Tar Man is one of them. I think it's Bud. Is it Bud from Day of the Dead? He's another one. You know what I mean? But Tar Man is absolutely great, man. And the movie goes by in a blink, man. I mean, <laughs> that's what's so fun about it. You can watch it, then watch it again, and watch it again. The rewatchability factor is there. And, you know, I don't want to say pacing or, uh, you know, it's just it's just such a fun ride. But once the zombies start coming out of the ground, it just goes and goes and goes. And it's a lot of fun running from zombies. Hilarious dialogue, comedic stuff that just makes you laugh your freaking ass off. And I'm not an expert in the zombie genre. You know what I mean? I don't I'm not the end all be all of zombie movies. But there's a, there's a one scene where they capture a zombie kind of like the, the girl who's split in half. They capture half of her torso. They tie her up and they ask her questions like, why do you eat people? And, you know, to stop the pain, it hurts. And she's like, it hurts to be dead. That's why we eat people. And just to give the zombies this motive other than we eat brains to say, you know, well, it hurts. We're here to stop the freaking pain. You know what I mean? It, it hurts to be dead. You know what I mean? And I just, I, I don't know, little things like that about this movie. I just find unique. I find it different. You know, I just just really like it i think it really depends on this movie what you get out of it i mean some people like for the most part i like my zombies serious i like these movies to be serious like 28 weeks later 20 days later the train to Busan, movies like that i think those are my kind of zombie movies but i grew up with this one i like the tone of it so this one may not work for you like it works for other people i think it really depends on what how you are as a zombie fan the style the tone what you like but i mean dan o'bannon just crafted something really awesome here you know these things gotta be entertaining they're movies right i always say there's a big difference between a film and a movie when we're talking film we're talking godfather and citizen kane when we're talking movies we're talking jason lives and return to the living dead and evil dead 2 and you know movies that are just a lot of fun to have a good time with i love me some return to the living dead what about you though do you love return to the living dead let me know in the comments what you think of Return to Living Dead. We'll have a good discussion. Click on that end card. I'll have related content to show you there. You can go down the channel, down the rabbit hole, as I say. And yeah, this was a lot of fun, guys, talking my favorite zombie film with you. My name is Jason. You're watching Backtrack Cinema. I will see you next time, and I will see you in the movies. Cheers. Cheers.